Good morning, my grade 5 learners. I hope you are having a wonderful day. It's me again, Teacher Rowena, and welcome to our English class. But before we proceed on our lesson, let us pray first and ask for the guidance of our Almighty Father. Let's put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind to know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that has caused a lot of change in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us help us focus on our studies. When learning, when learning becomes, becomes difficult, difficult grant, us grant us the gift of courage, of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us grant the grace to use our knowledge, our knowledge to make and make new friends, friends to the light of the people around, around us. us. All this we pray, pray in your mighty name. Mighty name. Amen. So I think you are ready now on our new lesson. It's all about making a stand. Quarter 3, Lesson 3. After going through this module, you are expected to attain the following objectives. Learning competency. Make a stand. Subtest. Define make a stand. Identify factual statements and opinions. Give own ideas or opinions about current issues. Now, I want you to remember our class rules. The first thing you have to do is find a comfortable and quiet place to study. Respect your teacher and classmates. Listen to your teacher attentively when she is discussing or saying something for the class. Stay focused and disciplined. Participate actively. And don't hesitate to ask questions on things you don't understand. Did you get it, class? Very good. For our starter, I want you to take a look at the sentences flash on your screen. Raise your thumbs up for the sentences you think you can uphold. And thumbs down for the sentences you think you cannot uphold. When we say uphold, it means support, defend, or justify. Did you get the direction, kids? Great job! Are you ready for our activity? Here is the first sentence. There is no better to be than myself. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Next. I believe in my goals and in my dreams. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I start to walk through my fear. 
thumbs up or thumbs down. Today, I choose to be confident. What is your answer? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Good things are going to come with me. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Next, I make the best for every situation. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's move on. I treat others with respect and appreciate their individuality. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I support and encourage others. Thumbs up or thumbs down. For the next one, I commit learning to new things. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And lastly, I respect myself. What is your answer? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Did you enjoy the activity? Great! Which statements did you answer thumbs up? And which statements did you answer thumbs down? Very good! In this activity, there is no wrong answer. All of your answers are correct. And for that, let us give yourself a good job clap for a job well done. Before going further, I will ask you some questions. Are you aware of the current issues happening in our country? Do you agree or disagree with a certain issue that is trending right now? Were you able to agree or disagree with the trending issues that we encounter nowadays? Can you give your own point of view or standpoint on these issues in our society? And that will be discussed in our lesson for today. What do we mean when we say taking a stand or making a stand? Taking a stand means to voice your opinion on issues that are happening. To make a stand is to determine whether you agree or disagree, to defend and to oppose or commend something. Sometimes there is no right or wrong answers. What is important is to know how to defend your answer and justify that your answer is correct. Did you get what I mean? And for you to better understand our lesson, let us have a game. The title of the game is Seconds to Win It. 
tell whether you agree or disagree on the statements that will be flashed on your screen. You have five seconds to answer each item. Are you ready, kids? Let's start. Number one, schools allow face-to-face -face classes. Number two, tattoos are wrong for young like me. Number three, the vaccine for COVID-19 should be given to frontliners first. Number four, I know what true love is. Number five, online class is the best modality of learning. Number six, I am lucky to be a Filipino. Number seven, we are protected against COVID-19 if we are vaccinated. Number eight, everyone should experience to use Facebook anytime. Number nine, all children should not play outdoors. Number 10, Phil health contributions should be increased to pay its debts. Are you done? Very good. What can you say about these issues? How many items have you agreed? What are these items? Okay. How many items have you disagreed? Will you count them? What are these items? What is your opinion about these statements? What makes you decide that you agree or disagree with these statements? In the activity that you have done, you have already made a stand or shown your own point of view or opinion about the issues happening within our society. You may choose to strongly agree or to strongly disagree. Like what I've said before, sometimes there is no wrong answer. You can justify that your answer is right. Did you get what I mean? Very good. There are certain ways on how you can express your opinion. You may use the following phrases to start your sentence. I'm absolutely convinced that. I'm sure that. 
I strongly believe that. I have no doubt that. There's no doubt in my mind that. When using these phrases, a comma should be observed. In my opinion, in my view, from my point of view, and from my perspective. I will give you now some tips on how to make a stand. Tip number one. Look at your own experiences. Before giving your own stand or opinion on a certain issue or situation, you must look back on your own experiences. And if you don't have an experience about that situation, think of yourself experiencing the same thing and the effect of that action to you. Is it clear? Very good. Example. Everyone should experience to watch movies, use Facebook, and play online games anytime they want. What is your stand in this statement? Do you agree or disagree? And here is an example of standpoint. I strongly disagree. This should not be done anytime you want because too much exposure to these activities may result to some health-related issue. How about you? Can you explain your stand? Tip number two. Collect information about the topic. Always base your opinion on facts. If you do not know much about a certain topic or issue, you can do research to gather more information about it. Example, we must conserve water. Do you agree or disagree? And here are some examples of a standpoint about that statement. In my opinion, reducing our water usages reduces the energy required to process and deliver it to homes, businesses, farms, and communities, which in turn helps to reduce pollution and conserve fuel resources. According to study, we only have 1% of drinkable water, and that fact alone is in a prison why we must conserve water. What is the factual statement that we've researched? That's right. It's according to study, we only have 1% of drinkable water. Let us now move on on tip number three. Know what is right and wrong. Always defend or stand on what is right and just. Here is an example. Students should be allowed to bring gadgets in school. What is your stand in this statement? Do you agree or disagree? Some may answer agree and some may answer disagree. But it is your own opinion. Here is an example of standpoint for this statement. In my point of view, students should be allowed to bring gadgets in school because of some reasons. There are some learning areas that require the use of gadgets and for emergency purposes. And for the last tip, narrate your opinion properly by stating all your reasons. When you make your stand, or opinion on a certain topic, you have to state all your reasons why you agree or disagree. And of course, be confident on your answer. Did you get it, class? Very good. Example, 
agree or disagree. I am lucky to be a Filipino. What is your opinion? Here is an example of standpoint for that statement. I strongly believe that I am lucky to be a Filipino. Being born and raised by my loving parents is something that I can be proud of. So before moving on, let's look back on the tips on making stand. Tip number one, look at your own experiences. Number two, collect information about the topic. Always base your opinion on facts. Tip number three, know what is right and wrong. And for number four, narrate your opinion properly by stating all your reasons. So kids, just follow all these tips when you make a stand. And remember this formula. Information plus personal experiences equals your stand. I think you are ready now on our activity time. And here is activity one. You say check mark if the sentence expresses a stand or opinion and a cross if it does not. Write your answer on your paper. Are you ready? Okay. Number one. I agree that Manny Pacquiao is the world's greatest boxer of all time. Number two. My father is convinced in supporting the Manila Bay rehabilitation amidst the pandemic. Number three, President Rodrigo Duterte approved the anti-terrorism law a few months ago. Number four, my brother prefers basketball as the most exciting game. Number five, Miss Rabia Mateo of Iloilo won as the Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Number six, Typhoon Rolly was categorized as Super Typhoon by Pag-asa when it approached Southern Luzon. Number seven, most of Filipino believe that several news posted in social media were fake news. Number eight, I am convinced that this dress from my mom is the best gift I received for my birthday. Number 9. Philippines has a tropical climate which lies near the equator. And number 10. Filipino drivers strongly claim that they are sweet lovers. Are you done? So let us check your answer. Number one. What is your answer? That's right. The answer is check. How about on number two? Very good. The answer is check. Number three, what is the right answer? Cross. 
because this sentence is not an opinion. It is a fact. How about number four? Can you give your answer? Very good. The answer is check. Number five, what is your answer? Very good, the answer is cross. Because this sentence is not an opinion, it is a fact. Next number, number six. The answer is cross. Because this sentence is also a fact. How about number seven? Can you give your answer? Great. The answer is check. Number eight. What is your answer? You're right. The answer is check. How about number nine? The answer is cross because this statement is a fact. And last but definitely not the least, number 10. Can you give your answer? It's check. That's right. Who among you got a perfect score? Great. And for that, let us give yourself a good job clap. I think you are ready now for our next activity. All we have to do is read and understand the article. Take note of the important points being raised and then answer the questions that follow. Did you get it, class? Very good. And here is the article. I will read it first for you. Nearly half in Philippines sold one COVID-19 vaccine, survey says. Almost half of Philippine citizens are not inclined to get a COVID-19 vaccine, mainly due to safety concerns, according to a survey by Polster Pulse Asia. Only near a third of 2,400 Filipino adults polled said they are willing to be vaccinated, while 21% couldn't say yet if they want to be inoculated. Of those who don't want to get the vaccine, 84% said they are not sure of its safety. What is your stand? Get vaccinated or what? And why? State your reason. Can you give your answer? That was a nice answer. Before moving on in our next activity, let us see if we still remember what was discussed earlier. What do we mean when we say making a stand? Can you give some phrases that can be used when making a stand? And what are the tips in taking a stand? Very good! To completely see if you really understand our lesson, I want you to complete the paragraph below. Choose a word inside the box that will best fit the sentence. Write your answer on your paper. 
I will give you one minute to answer this activity. Are you done? Let us check your answers. To make a stand is a determined effort to defend something or to stop something from happening. The key is to completely believe in the topic yourself. Because if you don't believe in what you're telling or writing, how can you convince the listener? Did you get all the right answers? That was great. Can everybody read this paragraph? I really think you are ready now on our next activity. I have two articles here. All you have to do is read and understand each article. Take note of the important points being raised. Then do the tasks that follow. The first article is about global warming. The second article is about the poverty. You have five minutes to complete this task. Are you finished? Okay, who wants to answer number one? How about the others? Very good. How about number two? Who can answer number two? That was a really nice answer. And for your assignment, select one issue from the following list and make a stand on how you feel about the topic. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. And here is the scoring rubrics for your assignment. And that ends our discussion for today. And I hope you learned something from it. Thank you and have a nice day.